morning my friends it is crystal welcome back to my channel it is monday morning and we had a really good weekend it was gorgeous outside i think saturday was in the 80s it was 80 degrees here and then yesterday was 70 i think something or about 70 gorgeous so we spent a lot of time outside and i also got caught up around the house and i'm finally feeling rested and recovered from our trip almost a week later oh my gosh so it's good to be back and i'm excited for this week so today we have a contractor it's actually a husband and wife I don't know if I should call it. I think they're contractors. We'll, we're going to call them that. But they are coming today to start some home projects for us, which I have been patiently waiting for. And I'm going to share that all with you here this week. I don't know that they will get it all done today. So I won't share with you the finished result in this video. However, I do plan to vlog maybe three times this week. So I'll just share the process in the next few videos. I'm gonna make my coffee really quick. They will be here shortly, so I wanna make sure to get a before shot before they get here. And I know I already showed this in my last video, but just in case you didn't watch that, they are going to be working up here in this hallway. It's right up off of our living room. They're going to paint the wall, and they're also going to do a full wall of board and batten, and it's going to, I think, it's it's a bold, it's going to be a bold wall. I'm not going to lie. I kind of went back and forth, but at the end of the day, I'm really drawn to contrast. I love the contrast. So I'll show you what it looks like. They stopped here on Friday and actually took the door so they could spray it because they will be painting the door the same color as the wall. I thought that was probably the best decision. So they will be up here working today and later this week as well. They said they're going to start with the paint first, so you'll be able to see the color here probably later today. They're doing one other project for me as well this week. The other project is a wall. It's kind of like a plate rack the way that it looks, but he's custom building me a plate rack that will go all the way up to our crown molding there. And it's going to be a fun place for me to display kids items whether it be like artwork they bring home from school but also like cookbooks cutting boards it's going to be just a fun little place to decorate and it's almost hidden but it's still accessible i mean this is a main traffic area right here through the pantry out to the garage so and i think it's going to help just fill this little gap or space that we have he's also going to have it come up high enough off of the ground so we can keep charlie's bowls there so that'll be really nice because that's like the perfect spot for his food and water whenever we have people working here though it makes for an awkward day of vlogging but i'm going to try my best to just keep you updated throughout the day while they're working on that i am one going to start editing my disney videos those are gonna take me some time, so I'd like to get started on those. And then I also want to work in our mudroom today, switching out all the winter gear and bringing in summer things like the baseball hats, getting rid of the winter hats, the winter boots, washing snow pants. I have, oh my gosh, I have so much laundry to do too. So I have plenty to keep me busy while they are working here today. And just in case you do not believe me on the laundry, are you ready? This is our laundry chute. So it comes down from upstairs. The kids throw their clothes down here. Just in case you didn't think I needed to do laundry. Your girl needs to do laundry. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. So laundry's on my list. And then also I want to take, I wanna clean this whole area out really, like clean out cubbies, wash winter coats and boots and get those all kind of packed away. I think we're good to go there. I don't expect any more snow. I mean, you never know, but I can at least put them away. If we need to pull them out, we need to pull them out. Kids' shoes go in this drawer, but in this one, I have all like winter hats and gloves. So just rotating, taking these out and putting in all the summer caps and things that they will need to reach for. So I'm honestly just running around the house, racing around, picking up after the kids this morning, getting things in order, getting things out of the way so they can get to where they need to be. I'm not sure which one they're starting with or what the whole plan is, but yeah, it's, it's going to be a good day. I love, I love home projects. I always tell my husband my love language 
is home projects. Okay friends, before I get too far in today's video, I wanted to give a big thank you to Osea for sponsoring this video. I get so excited to partner with them because I've been a long time customer of theirs. At least two, maybe three years now, I've been using their products faithfully in my routine. All my excitement aside though, Osea is a clean, clinically proven, that's really hard to say, clinically proven skincare from the sea. All their products include seaweed and botanicals. It's amazing. They're vegan and cruelty free, which I always like to mention. And they're also mother and daughter founded, which I just think is so, so cool. If you're looking for a unique gift for Mother's Day coming up, I always like to talk about gifts. Osea is a great gift idea. I actually gifted, I think almost all of my moms in my life with Osea. It's just a really nice, I feel like it's almost a luxury product to me. That's how much I just love it. But I wanted to show you today, of course, what I'm using in my regular routine and then also this set that I think would be a great gift. So first of all, I wanted to give a shout out again to my favorite product Osea <laughs> offers. The Andaria Algae Body Oil. I use this consistently every single morning. I actually use it a lot on my upper body. I just love the glow and softness without feeling oily and it smells really good too. So that is my like go-to product. I'll talk a little bit more about it later. But the other one that I use every night is the Collagen Dream Night Cream. And I shared this with you, I believe over Vlogmas. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's been a couple of months at least since I've talked about this. And I still use this consistently as well. And I love them both so, so much. But the set I wanted to show you today is the Golden Glow Body Set. And of course it has my favorite product in it. These are full-size products, by the way. So the first item that you receive as part of the set is the plant-based body brush. Now this is actually what you use to prep your skin for optimal moisture, it sweeps away all your dead skin cells, and you use it on dry skin, which I just think is so cool. The next item, so after the brush, you use the Undaria Cleansing Body Polish. Now this is going to resurface your skin, gently exfoliates, and it gives you that soft and smooth, revitalized skin. This is such a nice package. This is a big container, really good. And then lastly, like I said, my favorite, the Undaria Algae Body Oil. This is seaweed infused body oil and it improves the look and skin elasticity. And it also gives really good deep moisturization. Random fun fact, Osea stands for ocean, sun, earth and atmosphere. I just think that is so unique. I did not know that until not too long ago. So anyways, and I also wanted to mention that this Golden Glow body set is limited edition. They do not always offer it. So definitely time to check it out while you can. Great gift idea for someone or even for yourself. I know I'm looking to glowing it up this year. We're gonna glow it up. So anyways, I'm gonna have a link down below in the description box. If you click on the link, use my code. Are you ready for it? crystal glow it's going to save you 10 percent off of your order with osea i love the coupon codes they give me crystal glow love it friends coat number one is on the wall it is bold for sure i actually chose iron ore by sherwin williams it's the same color that i have in my office i use this a lot in our other house too and i really like it. it's the same color in our theater as well actually so it definitely ties in with the rest of our house i'm liking it it's bold though it's like a big adjustment i'm so used to see like all white when i look up there so i have it in my office i'm actually thinking to bring down the color more I kind of want to ask him to paint my two doors on my office. What do we think? When he comes in, I'm going to see if it's like, I don't think it's a big deal because they're already spraying that door. 
So what's, what's two more doors? So we'll just add that on too. I'm gonna see if he'll do that. But it actually works really well. It ties in with our kitchen, of course, with our hood vent being black, and I have a lot of black in our dining room. So it's pulling that into this side of our main floor, which I'm here for, but like I said, it's a big adjustment. But just paint on the wall so far. He still has to do all the board and batten and whatnot. So we'll see if he'll do those doors too. I've been a busy little bee while he's been up there working. So I've been in my office for like an hour, cleaning out my emails and replying to some of your cards, which thank you by the way for sending all of the cards. I'm, It's taken me a while to get caught up, but we're finally there. So if you sent me a card, you have one on the way back to you. I have been also rotating laundry and working in the mudroom at the same time. So we're getting things done. Progress is being made. I went through, cleaned out the cubbies and put back what we need. For me, I like to keep just like a slip on sandal in there in case I'm heading out and there's no shoe by the door. And then my belt bag for when I walk Charlie. And then the kids, they have like their go-to baseball hats baseball cleats that will get used later this week. So just random stuff that each of us reach for in our cubbies. Snow pants, uh, random like football gloves, you know, sports equipment that is like each person's personal items. Those also go in the cubbies. Now down here, of course their coats are at school with them right now. So when they get home, we'll hang those on the hooks, but I try to keep it to just one coat per person out here and then the rest go in the closet. It just depends what season it is. We have this closet right here that has a lot of like my husband's shoes and then spring jackets, raincoats, all that ready to go in there. So you saw me clean out the shoe drawer. They each have like an extra pair. I also put like baseball hats in here, so that's ready for summer. It's just nice to have them accessible to the kids. And then I actually went through and sorted. So all our winter hats are in this bin, our kids at least, and I. And then kids' gloves, I went through and matched them all up and clipped them together. My future self will thank me on that. And then I just threw in other random winter items that we'll pull out when the time is needed. Unfortunately, all of these gloves are missing their partner. <laughs> So I'm going to check their backpacks. I know they all have some gloves or hats in their backpacks. So I'm going to check for those tonight when they get home. And then hopefully we can eliminate some of these random pairs of gloves. Where do they go? I mean, seriously, so how many pairs is that? Seven pairs of gloves. Like where's the other one at? I don't know. How do we miss a, how do we lose a brand new blue glove already? So I moved all that out put all that away. I forgot to mention this part, so I thought I would talk here a little bit. This is pretty much empty. I do keep some church activities for the kids in here so we can just grab them as we are heading out to church. But I do have some room in there to store items yet. This little center, I like to keep pretty empty. This is just a great place to set things that we need running out the door. This is my like junk basket, so random stuff the kids bring in the house or from school, sunglasses, I have doggy little bags in there, all kinds of random stuff in this basket. This shelf is my, my decor, my pop greenery. We have to have some of that, so just a plant. And then this sign I actually bought from Kirkland's a couple of years ago, used it in our other mudroom, and I had found it not too long ago in a bin. I'm like, oh, that would be perfect on my shelf. So it's, it's more for decor than function, this little cubby but I love it, it makes me happy. So yeah, mudroom I'm calling done for today. Winter jackets, I put all of those in our front closet. I just rotate. So the only things that we need this time of year are in our mudroom and then this closet. Everything out of season goes in the front closet. That's a larger closet, so we have extra space in there to store a lot of these things. And then there's still room for visitors, guests to hang their coats in there too. So it's nice to just keep it all together and rotate through. It also keeps me on top of keeping things clean to do it this way. Here's a look at our front closet, by the way. I don't, I'm sure I've shared it, but it's probably been a while. It's not super organized yet, but this is where I store a lot of my office things just because I don't have an office closet. So all my Cricut stuff, my printer is in here. I had outlets put in here for all kinds of different things. So that's basically my tower. 
Here's all of our coats, so plenty of room still for other jackets. Lots of the bins, so those are the hats and gloves I just did. And light bulbs, batteries, my tools. It's kind of a catch-all closet, but it's really nice to have it accessible. I could probably spend a whole day just going through that and reorganizing it. It's just not a priority yet. I also want to hang hooks in there for additional things. So maybe jackets for kids who come over to visit. Charlie is a shoe stealer. So people put their shoes in there when they visit. So there's a lot I want to do, but closets just haven't been a priority at this point. We're just still focusing on a lot of the main spaces. So it is lunchtime. I'm going to stop now and eat. My husband is also coming home. He's back. So it's really nice to have him home now with us as well. I did talk with the contractor and he is going to paint my doors he's going to grab them tomorrow when he has his trailer so that's really exciting i think it'll look really good i've wanted to paint them and i told you guys this months ago but then i was like ah, i don't know but now that i see the upstairs paint i'm like it totally needs to be done it'll just really tie together well so i'm excited about that he's actually gone for the day now so i have the house back to myself so he did two coats upstairs that's drying He's going to go home now and build my little kitchen unit and then it will be ready to just install when he comes tomorrow. So that's really exciting that he'll just walk in with it and screw it in and hopefully we'll be good to go there. So he's gonna work at home and I'll work here. I do, I like it. It's gonna look so nice. It looks good with the railings already. So he did take the baseboard home with him. He's going to spray it. He said they sprayed all of the board and bat at home and it looks really good already and then he's also going to switch out the outlet covers so yeah he's got all his bases covered I feel like I'm very impressed so far it'll be fun to see the design come to life tomorrow my camera just doesn't know where to focus right now so I came down here to see if that makes it any better but yeah can't you imagine just four large wood frames on this dark wall I think it'll look really nice with the floors and soften it up just a little bit yeah it'll look good my husband came home from lunch i actually didn't tell him what color i was painting it he's like whoa black and I'm like, yeah he's like oh yeah it's it's gonna look good <laughs> i think it will too it's just it's such a big difference than what we're used to have you ever tried the olipop this was my first time trying it. i actually still have some left but i had it with my lunch today it's actually really good it tastes I mean, like a grape soda. We call it pop here. Let me know if you're a soda or pop person. I do like it, just the digestive benefits that it has. The calories, not too excited about, and the added sugars, but actually pretty impressed with this. I think I have a couple other flavors to try, but I grabbed a couple at Walmart the last time I was there. In my last video, I mentioned I was out furniture shopping. I'm like, I'm not in the market for outdoor furniture this year. We're going to make it another year without it. I think I spoke too soon. So over the weekend we pulled out, it was so nice out. We just wanted a place to sit. We actually played games outside at our table. So we pulled it out last night. I'm like, you know what? Let's just set it down under our deck. We also have like a cement patio. It's over by our hot tub and the fire pit. I'm like, let's just set up our set down here so we have somewhere to sit tonight. So we did that. But now I don't wanna move it because it looks so good down there, which was always my plan that it eventually would make its way down below our deck and then we would probably get something a little bit bigger in scale for our deck because our deck is huge compared to our other house so i might show you how that looks um yeah so i'm trying to figure out what i want to do for furniture outside i i know that the walmart sets are so popular i have one we love it we've gotten many years out of it but i kind of want to do something different I like to do, I don't know, I just like to do my own thing sometimes and I love the Walmart sets, don't get me wrong. But I also wanna do something different. I don't wanna do something that everybody else has. So I've been just looking online at different options. I've checked a lot of different websites. I'm actually leaning, there's a set on Ashley Furniture's website that I kinda like and the price is right. I don't wanna spend too much on it because we can only here where we live use this like five months out of the year tops. But it also needs to be somewhat decent because it is exposed to a lot of sun and wind and all the elements, really. 
and I love my polywood furniture that we use for patio, but I think, I don't think I need to do polywood on our deck. I don't know. I'm So that's also something that I'm starting to research. I'm getting really excited though to start decorating, do our front porch, refresh for spring, and then we'll do the deck. Those are some of my favorite videos to do. So I'm gonna take you down. I'll show you how the furniture looks down there. And um, you have to let me know if you agree, if it looks good down there. Here's our deck, by the way. So this is would be a blank canvas for furniture. I still do have my egg chair, which I think I still wanna bring up. So the egg chair, I think will always be right there, but otherwise we have all of this space to work with. And I like the set we had in the setup last year, but it's just a little bit too small for this area. I feel like we need to go a little larger. Okay, let's go down underneath the deck. My apologies for the wind. Hot tub, patio set. Still plenty of room to get around, to walk around, to get into the house. It just fits better down here. Definitely would, I think, do a rug. It's pretty boring otherwise. Need some color with plants and a rug most likely. But I'm kind of thinking this is where it needs to stay. It's really nice because we were sitting here, a couple of the kids were in the hot tub. My husband was fishing. We just had a lot of space and it was cozy. I came inside. I didn't know if you could hear me or not with the wind. All of these ideas though, the problem with them, they cost money. And so it just takes time, right? You gotta save up the money to buy all the things for the spaces and my ideas. <laughs> That's the hard part. So right now I'm just in search mode. Probably not gonna order anything for a little bit yet. I think we have some cold days ahead of us still, but I'm glad we at least set it up so I can start planning towards that. So let me know if you have any ideas or any nice furniture that is, it doesn't need to be like, I don't know, middle of the line. We don't need the fancy stuff, but I also don't want stuff that's not going to last or blow away being out on our deck for a day. It gets very windy out here, so. Okay, I need to fold laundry now. As I was folding clothes, the runner that I ordered for the upstairs hallway just got here, and then I think that's the pad to go under it. I wasn't sure if we needed one. I'm still pretty new to rugs, but I figure with Charlie running, it'll get messed up, so I thought, you know, I better just order it. It wasn't that expensive. So it's Amber Lewis, Lilloy. I think this is a washable runner, if I, I could be wrong. I don't wanna open it though until it's done up there, but I might take a little peek. So let's, I'll let you see just a little peek. I'm not even sure, the alley rug. Oh gosh, I can't do this one-handed. Let me open up a little corner and we'll look at it. I don't know if it's washable or not. I don't know. It might be. It doesn't say that it is, so I, I looked at so many rugs though, I could be wrong. But this was grays and beiges, which is what I wanted, and I also kind of wanted a charcoal color to pull from the wall a little bit. So I'll show you this when the wall is done. Oh, I'm so excited. After doing research for frames though for that wall, I decided I'm going to wait to order anything until one, the wall is done, but two, I think until we get updated family photos. I looked and looked and looked for really pretty frames to put on there. They're expensive, very expensive for the size that I want and the color. So I think I'm just gonna hold off on those for a bit until we have updated photos of the kids and then I'll probably do small woods. I didn't wanna do that, I prefer to do the frame. I might change my mind. I'll look more into it, but I didn't wanna rush into anything. I didn't wanna buy something that wasn't gonna work for us long term and I don't even have updated photos of the kids that I really want to order big prints in right now anyways. We actually didn't do family photos last Christmas. We're gonna do them this fall most likely so we'll probably wait. Maybe I can convince my husband we should do summer photos and then we could have them sooner. Do you ever do family photos in the summer? Or are you more of a fall winter person? You know, it's nice to do it in the fall because then you can put them on your Christmas card, but I suppose 
there's nothing wrong with doing them right now. I don't know. So I actually need to leave to pick up the kids. And then the boys have haircuts after school. We also have family coming over here tonight, which I forgot about. We're gonna go out to eat though, so I don't have to worry about dinner. But my husband's side of the family has, um, there's some family members from Greece that are here. I've only ever met them, I think, one time. But they're coming just to see the house and then we're gonna go to dinner with my mother-in-law and my husband, the whole family. So we have that going on. So I'm like frantically trying to put laundry away so it's not a complete disaster in there and just tidy up the house a little bit before we leave because right when we get back from haircuts, family will be here. Hello friends, it is the next day and it is absolutely miserable out. Although I am very happy to get the rain, we just really need the moisture everywhere around here. So it is totally fine and I'm always down for a good thunderstorm. They're like the best and I love that I'm home all day today. It is the next day though, so I wanted to hopefully share with you some sneak peeks of everything. However, it is so windy and so rainy, bringing woodwork in and out of the house is just not gonna work today, so I'm so bummed. Our, he was here this morning and he did like one paint coat on the trim of the door upstairs, and then he grabbed my doors off of the office he backed his trailer up to our garage and grabbed them really quickly, but it's just not the day to be outside cutting wood in our driveway for an accent wall. And I, he also didn't want to bring in that unit for our kitchen either. It's just, it's windy and one gust of wind would wreck it. So tomorrow is the day that he will be back to, he's hoping to finish everything up tomorrow, which I think is maybe a little bit of a long shot, but we'll see. So I don't have any big exciting updates to share with you to finish out this video, but my doors are off my office. It looks very different right now, but I'm excited to share with you. Coming up, I think I'll vlog again on Thursday and hopefully post it Friday. I, I better check my calendar to make sure. Hold on. So yes, I can vlog on Thursday, although I don't know if my video will be up on Friday. It could very well be Monday. The kids get out early on Friday, so it just, those days always get a little bit dicey for me with getting things done. So stay tuned. In that video, I'll share with you the final look of the projects, and we'll also decorate the rack that he's going to be putting up in the kitchen. So exciting stuff to come. Thumbs up as always if you enjoyed today's video. Do not forget to check out that Osea link down below. Use my code Crystal Glow. Those kits are amazing and they always sell out so fast. So definitely check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. The doors are gone. It looks so strange. It also gives me an idea as to what it would have looked like if I didn't do the sliders. You know, cause you can go between, the option was French doors or sliding. French doors, I feel like would have taken up like half of my office. So I'm definitely glad we did the sliders. I didn't do glass doors only because kids. So someday maybe we'll upgrade the doors to something fancy, but I didn't want to have another thing to clean. So bring on the moody doors. <laughs>